do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends now we are going to discuss about the main chapter that is alkane and what are the definition of alkane and yes what is the general formula of alkane let us talk about that also so as we have discussed this earlier also it means that it is the aliphatic saturated hydrocarbon that contains at least uh, and all the hydrocarbons uh, in which where all the uh, carbon carbon will have a single bond will be known as the alkane so the general formula of the alkane is nothing but cnh2n plus 2 where the small n as you could see it represents the number of carbon atom and based on that the number of hydrogen atom would be basically 2n plus 2 for example if i will give you it is very easy to understand for example suppose if i take the first alkane that is methane like ch4 it is one that we know as methane and in this case suppose we know, uh, know that uh, since the carbon atom is one so that's why in this case basically i will write the value of n to be one and if i substitute this value in the general formula that we have that is cnh2n plus 2 then this would result in c in cn that is the number of uh, hydrogen in this case uh, the number of carbon in this case is basically one and the hydrogen will be with respect to the uh, number of carbon that it has it has the number of carbon that is one so therefore 2 into 1 plus 2 so therefore it makes c1 h2 in, uh, h has basically 2 into 1 that is 2 plus 2 that is nothing but 4 so therefore it is nothing but the methane itself so as you could see that the molecular formula of the methane in uh, by applying this formula will also validate uh, the thing of Uh, the general formula of alkene so now let us try with another one suppose if i have a general formula of a particular alkene and that is been supposed to be that is c6 h14 but suppose if this is what if i have a molecular formula and i have to estimate that whether it is a alkene or not so for which how can i determine this thing it is very easy to understand because as we know by, uh, that the number of carbon um, will represent uh, nothing but n itself so in this case basically the n that i could see or the number of carbon that i could see in this case is basically 6 so to apply this uh, value that is 6 in the general formula that we have that is uh, c n h 2 n plus 2 so let us check whether uh, this will give the same uh, molecular formula uh, whether this is alkene or not so suppose if i have applied the formula where uh, uh, the value of n is 6 so therefore if i am applying this thing so therefore c 6 h 2 into 6 because this would represent the number of carbon atom 2 into 6 plus 2 so eventually this makes of c 6 6 into 2 is 12 12 plus 2 is 14 so because this is the one which is uh, obeying the general formula of alkene so therefore this is itself an alkene so the general formula plays a very vital role in understanding whether uh, to uh, if if a molecular formula is given to us and on that basis we could estimate that whether this is alkene alkene or alkene because the all these three uh, hydrocarbons have different general formula so based on this general formula we could estimate whether the molecular formula given to us uh, or in in any chemical reaction or in any uh, analysis uh, of a uh, chemical product we could estimate that what would be it means what uh the hydrocarbon it it would be that is alkene alkene or alkyne so this is how we could detect uh, that it would be an alkene or not so suppose if uh, i have uh, and but yes what would be the name of this thing because this is uh, the carbon 6 that we have and carbon 6 and most of all uh, this is an alkene which consists of carbon carbon single bond so therefore this would be nothing but hexene itself and the structural form of this would be very simple to uh, write that is the first thing that we are going to do is we'll write it all the carbon atoms and since it is an aliphatic hydrocarbon that means it will be an open chain carbon atom and it will not be a closed chain uh, so uh, let us do that thing by giving the structural formula of this thing so therefore this will be consist of three of uh, six carbon atoms 
so this is the six carbon atoms and in this case what we are going to do we are representing the hydrogen so this is the hydrogen and because uh, carbon has a valency of four it will only form four covalent bonds because in alkane also it always forms a covalent bond with the um, other atom so in this case the other atom is nothing but the hydrogen in this case so therefore all the carbon atoms will combine with the hydrogen as well as with carbon uh, so as to form the molecule that we know as to be hexane so this is very simple to understand that uh, because of the molecular formula or because of uh, the application of the general formula and suppose if uh, we have a question like this one that we have so based on this thing we have estimated that the general because of the general formula we could estimate that what would be the molecular formula of a carbon which contains n number of uh, carbon atoms uh, but based on that uh, we are going in a reverse manner that suppose uh, that the molecular weight of an alkane which is given to be basically 142 and uh, on that basis we have to calculate what would be the molecular formula of that so the molecular weight is already given that is basically 142 and let us see that how can we uh, detect what would be the uh, number of carbon atoms or we could on the on that basis because of that uh, we could calculate uh, what would be the molecular formula of that compound so it is very simple to understand because since we know that uh, the alkane has a general formula of CNH2N so therefore the general formula of alkane is nothing but CnH2n plus 2 and if we uh, add all the at atomic weight of uh, the carbon and hydrogen we will get a molecular weight and in that case the molecular weight is already been given to us and that molecular weight is nothing but 142 so therefore the molecular weight that has been given to us is basically 142 so by applying on this thing that is suppose if we don't know the value of uh, the number of carbon atoms but we know that uh, when it comes to molecular weight molecular weight is nothing but the sum up of all the uh, atomic weight of the atoms that are being present in the molecule so in this case we don't know that what is the value of n so we could write in this manner that we have n number of uh, carbon and each carbon has an atomic weight of 12 so n into 12 we could write in this manner also plus we could see that the hydrogen is been also present and in this case also we don't know that what is the value of n in this case so in this case the value of n would be i could write it as 2n that is plus 2 into the total number uh, the atomic weight of hydrogen is basically 1 and that is nothing but 142 so this is the number of uh, hydrogen that we'll have and this is the number of hydrogen uh, carbon that we have that is n so this makes that is 2n plus 2 uh, a total mix of the number of hydrogen that uh, have in a alkane so let us uh, apply this thing so therefore 12 into n it is nothing but 12n plus in this formula also if if we multiply this thing so we'll get a number as 2n plus 2 and this is nothing but it is found to be 142 so for this thing that is one uh, 12 n plus 2 n it is nothing but 14 n and this is 142 142 and this minus uh, this will be minus 2 so therefore this will become 140 so therefore the value of n in this case will be 140 divided by 14 which results to be 10 so in this case the value of n that is the value of uh, the total number of uh, carbon atom is found to be 10 so once the number of hydrogen uh, the once the number of carbon has been detected so we could easily calculate the molecular formula because why because we know the that it is a uh, alkane and for alkane it is nothing but cnh2n plus 2 this is a general molecular uh, this is a general formula of alkane so we are going to substitute the value of 10 here so therefore 10 c10 h2 into 10 that is uh, it will become 20 and uh, 20 plus 2 nothing but it's 22 so therefore this will become c 10 h 22 so this is the molecular formula that we have got 
and since it is an alkane it consists of uh, 10 carbon uh, atoms so precisely we could say that this molecule is nothing but decay so this is how we classify uh, alkane and because of the help of the general formula we could find various things so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood that uh, what is alkane and what and how the general uh, formula of alkane is so important to detect whether the molecule is alkane or not and we have did a example of that too so share this video with the friends and yes i hope you have uh, uh, got to know this concept very clearly so don't forget to subscribe eGrad channel thank you so much